Hello and welcome to this BIM object talk where we're going to cover BIM object and SketchUp and in particular our BIM object uh, plugin app for SketchUp. My name's Yasser Khan, uh, I'm a project manager here at BIM objects at HQ um, and I'm going to run you through here uh, the benefits of using our, our apps in general and also how to install and work with the app. So at BIM Object, we have developed apps for the main design and BIM systems. So that includes Revit, ArchiCAD, Vectorworks, AutoCAD, and of course, what we're going to look at here, SketchUp. So what are the benefits of using the BIM Object app for SketchUp? Well, the first benefit is obviously by using the BIM Object app for SketchUp, this gives you direct access to thousands of gigabytes worth of manufacturer specific content at your fingertips. So rather than having to save files locally that you want to use, you always have access to these files using the BIM Object Cloud directly from your SketchUp application. So there's no need to download something, grab it from your downloads folder and then drop that into your project file. It's a seamless integration. You just simply click download and place the objects out into your project. And being a single source of truth is how our whole cloud system works. It means that if there's an update to a particular product or uh, item which you want to place out in your project, you will always be using the latest version of that product. And if a product has been updated, you have information to tell you that this particular item or product has been updated and you are given information to inform you if you would like to update the product you've used in your project file. So to download and install the BIM Object SketchUp application, it's a relatively simple process, similar how you would install extensions for, uh, yeah, for all the applications in general for SketchUp. The first thing you need to do is either go to the extensions warehouse, uh, which can be accessed via SketchUp, or you can link to this directly from the BIM Object homepage. So if we see here, from the landing page of BIM Object, you will see that there's a tab called Apps, and this gives you a link to all of our apps currently available. So as you can see here, we have the SketchUp app, you click the download, and this gives you a page of information about how to use the app, what the different buttons mean, and uh, information on how to install. So when you click download, it takes you to the extensions warehouse. So you simply download the file, you save that uh, location onto your uh, computer. Now, we need to then open that file to install it. So here in Windows, you go to Window, and then you choose it's preferences here and then in extensions you'll choose the BIM object and install it. It's the same process for Mac but the preferences is under the SketchUp drop down. But after that the process is the same. You simply select extensions, you choose a BIM object extension, you install it by then finding the location where you've downloaded the, uh, the file and you open it and that installs it into your instant of SketchUp. Now to load up the tool palette, we just here we go to view and we load up the tool palette. Now what you need to do to work with the BIM object plugin here is click on the gear button first of all. Now as you can see here, it's requesting your unique identification key. So from your BIM object account, you click on user account there, and then what you need to do is just copy and paste your unique identification key into the app. Once that's done, the app is ready for use. So now my app works, it gives me access, and I click the download here on the first button. Now that opens up an instance of the BIM Object Cloud 
here from within SketchUp. So I'm still within SketchUp here, but this is an, uh, a web uh, interface in instance which is open now for me to download. So here I'm just going to click on uh, SketchUp model. Then I click download. Now what happens is here, it downloads the file directly into my project. So here it is, it's automatically downloaded. And I just simply place it out. So here we go, I've just downloaded this sample uh, building here. And it's as instantaneous as that. As soon as I click download, there it is, it's ready for me to place out. Now this can save you a lot of time in general over say a year of work where you have to then download, move that file from your download folder, load it in every, t every time. Uh, and you think how many times you do that manually, it's, uh, it's, it's a time saving there for you all as well. So what we're going to do now is just download another product into this uh, project file, which I've just added to this SketchUp program. So what we're going to do here is just select a information screen to put on the exterior of this building. So when I click download, by default, the first option to download will be the SketchUp file. I can, of course, download other formats, but they obviously will not be loaded into SketchUp. So then I'll have to choose a location of where I'd want to save those. So as you can see here, the product that I've downloaded has been automatically loaded in, ready for placement. I'm just going to adjust its orientation here. I'll just turn it around here by 90 degrees. And then I'll just grab the back of it here and I'll fix it to the wall plane here. Then it's as simple as that. Now, I click on an item here that we already have in this project. Now, if I click the second button here, which is the information button, I can go back to that product page and see information about that particular product, which has a description, links, related information, its classification, and of course, region information is available there for me for reference. Now, if we move along to the next button along here in the app, it, which is the update button. So when I select on a product, I may have downloaded this previously a few months and the product could have been updated. So when I select on a product here and I select to update, I can then check to see if this product has been updated since I first placed it into my project. And here you can see, yes, there is an update available. So there has been some change in the product and then choose to update it and it's updated there for me. And there's confirmation to say it's been updated. Now the next uh, button along on this app that we're going to look at is something called BIM Object Properties. Now these are property sets that can be added to any object post-download. So just for example here we will take a, a Kobe data set which is used for the UK uh, government requirements. Uh, just as an example here, so I don't think there's any data within this, but we're just exemplifying this. So as you can see here, now when I go to component options, you can see now I do have the Kobe data set within the objects in its component options, as well as, of course, all of the data from that product page, which includes all of the links and classification information. And of course, data sets could also be updated in a similar way to what we saw earlier, where you update the actual uh, product you had downloaded. And that would take us along to the next button where we can then choose to see if there's an update for the data sets we have embedded now into this uh, product. Uh, of course, we just downloaded the data set, so it's the most current, so we should uh, be told that we're up to date there with the data that has been downloaded. Yep, and as you can see here, all of our property sets are then up to date. The next button along here is the BIM Mail platform, which is a mail communication between you and the manufacturer. Last is the information button, which gives you information on how to 
install and use the app. So that's a brief uh, introduction and summary of the BIM ob object app. And I would just like to summarize uh, the app features. So the benefit is that you can browse directly from SketchUp, giving you access to thousands of gigabytes worth of manufacturer content, so real products. And of course, these are all based on our single source of truth. So every product is located in one place. It's one place to update for the manufacturer. It's one place to, give, to tell you as a user that this product has been updated. Uh, you can add and update BIM object properties, and then we also have access to the BIM mail. And all of this is available from within SketchUp. So there's no need to go to an, a browser out of your SketchUp application to download anything. Everything's available there for you within your SketchUp application, which means you have a seamless workflow to download and use content and control it.